I lost my son. And you couldn't imagine the pain that I would be that I'm going through. And until they walk in my shoes, it's okay to say, oh, well, I don't have nothing to do with it. Oh, well, this is my friend. You're my friend, but you're my friend too. It's okay to be in those positions until you are dead in the middle going through it. When you are dead in the middle going through it, and it is your son that you carry for nine months and that you taught to walk and, you know, that you nurture, you... It's hard. So I, you know, I just, I just kind of stay to myself. You know, I speak and I, you know, I just, just kind of stay to myself because if I put something on Facebook, instead of somebody thinking this, she just talking in general, you know, just expressing herself because she can't say it to her son because he's not here, you know, it's taken out of proportion. The very first day. After I finished seeing that patient, I like ran to my car. I was sweating. I had an anxiety attack. I was crying. I felt like somebody was chasing me. I drove home as fast as I could. I wasn't too far from the house. I drove home as fast as I could and I like ran in the house and like, you know, got in the door and stood, you know, stood behind the door like breathing hard and just couldn't stop control, you know, uncontrollably crying. It's an overwhelming feeling because until you, it doesn't matter what he done, no one deserves to bury their child, you know, and because you didn't know him as a person and all you hear is what you hear in the streets or what you hear from other kids or whatever, you didn't know him as a person. He didn't like bullies, and he was he was that type of guy that you would be the biggest guy in the neighborhood, and you messing with that little boy or that little person, you know, he's, he's coming to see you. He's going to tell you, you can't do that. You can't do that to him. You know, you got to give that back to him, boy. You can't treat him like that. I'm not over it. I'm not past it. I don't know when I am going to be, but I do pray every day for for peace. I pray every day that God gives me strength. I pray for strength for my mother. I pray for strength for my my eleven year old son who's suffering. I pray for the for his other two brothers who are not here, who can't be here to support us. You know, um, you know. I pray for the. I pray for the whole family. It's a piece. Of, I feel like a piece of my soul. I don't feel like the same person. I know I'm not the same person. I look at people differently. I know they look at me differently. You know, I don't even feel the same. You know, all the joy and the vibrancy that I used to have, I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. I just pray for justice. I pray that they let my son rest in peace and I pray for justice. The same way if the shoe was on the other foot, I would have to sit back and, you know, let these people grieve. I would have to sit back and let the, these people grieve. I wouldn't be out here cursing them out and saying, well, your son was doing this, so that's why he deserved to die. That's God's decision. When God is ready for you, he is ready for you. I, w I want my son to rest in peace. And I don't want another mother to go through what I'm going through.